Hello guys and welcome back to the shack. Today we're going to do a few power tests. This is the MD9600 and we've got a watt meter that oh guys that does cover 440. We're going to test the MD9600. We're going to test a MD380. We're going to do a 2017, and last but not least, we're going to see what the power output uh, is on this DMR amplifier. As you all know, my old my old meter only covered 200 megs. So, with that being said, we can't really use it to do 440 stuff. So, God, why is this thing so blurry? Must be all the lights here. Let's turn the saw. That might help. That's a little better. All right. Let's be the display. Okay, we're gonna do some power tests. I'm gonna pause the video, and I'm gonna get the radio hooked up here, and then we're gonna see what it does on low, medium, high on the 9600. Okay, guys, we've got the 9600 hooked up here, and let's see. First we'll test, um, we'll go VHF, I got a simplex frequency here somewhere. Okay, here's a 146.520 simplex. We've got the meter here, uh, we'll take it off P. Okay, this is, uh, the radio's on high power, this is VHF. So let's, um, let's see what we get. KG4 VDZ testing power output on Simplex. KG4 VDZ. Alright guys, looks like about 46 watts on high power on uh, VHF 146.520. Okay, we'll switch over to, um, I'll go over to a DMR Simplex frequency. Okay, here's 141.000. Radio's on high power. As you can see, we got high power. And uh, let's see what it does. Okay, we've got 36 watts, on, 35 watts on high power. And looks like an SWR of uh, 1.4. KG4 VDZ testing power output on 440 DMR simplex. And you four VDZ clear. Okay, that's what I get on this particular meter. Now this meter is extremely accurate. I mean it's as close as I've as far as accuracy goes, the best thing that I've got. But this is not a TDMA meter, so it might, you know, the wattage might be uh, off a little bit. Let's see what we get. 35 watts dead smack on the money 35 watts which is probably about right if I was guessing okay next thing I will hook up a I've got an MD 2017 here we'll hook it up and we will see what the uh, power output is on that on high power let me pause the video and I'll be right back Okay guys, welcome back. I've got the 2017 plugged up to the meter and I am on a DMR 440 simplex channel. I think it's 441 000. All right, let's see what we get on the meter here. 3.7 watts, 3.7 watts and the radio is on Focus, you piece of, there we go. High power, 3.6, 3.7 watts. That's what we've got. Now, we will try, let's go over to a, it's hard to do this one-handed, let's go over to a, um, here's a VHF Simplex 146.520. Let's see what we get on that. Oh, wait a minute. It says uh, about a watt and a half because we're on low power. All right, let's change that. 
Okay, high power, 146.520, and we get five watts, dead on the money, five watts exactly. 4.9, five watts. Okay, that's the 2017. Okay, we're gonna unplug, if I can do this with one hand, I'm not sure, I might have to, I might have to pause the video. Okay, we're going to plug up a 380. We'll see what a 380 says here. Uh, if I can get it. Let me pause the video. Hold on. Okay, I've got the 380 plugged up. This is just an analog 446-000 simplex. Radio's on high power. And we get... Uh, 4.2 watts, about 4.2 watts on the MD380. Um, the battery on this one is a little low, so hmm, that's odd. It starts off um, about five watts and then slowly comes down, which that could be due to the battery. The battery is weak. Um, I've got about two bars on battery power. Let me swap batteries with a fresh brand new one and uh, we'll see what the what the power shows. Let me pause and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, the battery indicator is full. We're on high power. Let's see what we get. 4.6, 4.7, roughly five watts I mean five watts high power on UHF let's go to a digital we'll see what we get here oh wait a minute I'm on low power let me change my power here high power uh, 5.2 watts 5.2 watts on high power simplex DMR digital. What is the difference? Which, like I said, this meter is not designed to read TDMA digital, or which I don't think it is. Doesn't seem to have a problem reading it. Back to analog, 4.6. Back to digital. 5.2. That's odd. Hmm. Okay. 5 watts anyway. TYT advertises the radios to do 5 watts, and it does exactly that. Alright, All right, next we will try... What else have I got here? Um, a CS580, Connect Systems. 580, we'll see what it does. Let me get this unplugged. It's hard to do with one hand. And I will, um, I'll pause the video and be right back. Okay, guys. I've got the CS580 hooked up. As you can see, we're on high power. DMR Simplex 441 000. And the watt meter says 4.1 watts. Now the battery on this is, as you can see, it's about half dead. I haven't charged this battery in several weeks. The batteries on these Connect Systems radios or this particular one, it lasts forever. Okay. We had 4.1 watts on DMR Simplex. Let's switch over to a UHF. Well, there it is. It's hard to do this with one hand. Regular Simplex 446-000 analog. Let's see what we get. 4.4, uh, about exactly the same thing, 4.3. And like I said, the battery is, as you can see, top right of the screen, it's about half dead. <laughs> KG4VDZ clear testing analog simplex. So, 
that's what the CS580 does, or the CS580 does. Alright, next we will test, I'm going to open spot, I don't think the open spot itself will even register on the watt meter, which this watt meter is pretty sensitive. It goes down, I don't know if it'll even pick that much up, I think it may start, it might start at a watt. We'll try it anyway, we'll hook up the open spot and see if it'll register on the watt meter. We'll see what we get from there. This is just a peak. When I have the peak off, I cannot read a digital signal like DMR. It will, nothing. It just bounces all over the place. It's you know the numbers are crazy. When I put my peak on, then I can read a DMR digital signal. It's it just gets steady and gives a decently accurate me reading. But we'll hook it up to the open spot and see what it says. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to hook her up. Okay guys, welcome back. Right now with the open, as you can see, the open spot is transmitting. Because somebody is talking. But, yeah, there's not enough signal coming from the open spot to register on the meter, unfortunately. I was, um, was hoping we could get it, but no. nothing not a blimp 20 mils is not going to do it i think this meter starts at one watt so i'm going to pause the video and then we're going to hook up the um, dmr amplifier and we're going to see what kind of power out we get with uh, 20 milliwatts of drive from the open spot okay guys i've got the amplifier hooked up out of the amp making a loop into the watt meter right now it's transmitting well it just stopped Okay, here we are again. I'm getting 15 watts out of the, this is a 50 watt amp if you drive it with, you know, 5 watts. The open spot only being 20 mils, you know, it's, um, I'm not getting a whole lot of power out. But, 20 milliwatts, I am getting 15 watts. 15 watts, which is better than what I had before which was 20 milliwatts <laughs> so that's awesome that's great and like I said with with you know 15 watts with only 20 mils of drive I can get about 15 miles out of it which you know there's things you've got to consider in that 15 miles because people ask me you know how in the world do you get that because I can't get it well you're not going to get 15 miles of range 15 miles away standing outside on a 5 watt HT it's just not going to happen the open spot you just can't get back to it but if you you know because you can see look this is this is half an inch heliax cable that goes out and up to my tower on the top of the tower it's about 50 foot tall and there's a 2 meter 440 5 8 wave vertical with high gain I think it's about 12 or 13 dBi gain on two meters I think it's uh, more than that on 440 so it's um, you know and I'll give you a quick shot out my window and show you what my elevation looks like as you can see I'm up pretty high so it helps me it just you know my signal just blankets the town that I live in so with the open spot the only 20 mils 50 watt amp I can get um, oh there it is in transmit again there it was up oh, there it is 15 watts that's all I can get and you can see my SWR is very low 1.2 1.25 almost a 1.3 so, yep, that's what I get, guys. 14.4, 14.6, about 15 watts is it. That's all I can get. And like I was telling you before, if I turn my peak off, these numbers will go crazy. Well, no, it's stabilized. Wow. That's shocking. I couldn't get it to stabilize with the HT.
cool. Maybe this meter does. Maybe it will read TDMA. I don't know. It seems pretty stable with it. As you can see, the open spot is keying up the amp. So you can see the red transmit light on the amp. You can see the red transmit light on the open spot when it goes off. The red light on the amp goes off. So the open spot will key the amp. Fifteen watts. That's it. That's all she'll get, guys. But anyway, I'll say seventy threes for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's not. It's not much. It's just a some quick testing I wanted to do. I had uh, just got this meter in. I'd purchased it online, and so what I like about this meter is focus. There we go. One point eight to one hundred and fifty megs. On sensor one and then over on sensor two I can go 140 to 525 megahertz so it carries everything that I needed to do it'll do all my HF it'll do all my VHF it'll do all my UHF it does everything that I needed to do and another thing I like about it is the sensor switch it has four inputs on this meter if I can get a shot as you can see there's four or there's two there's two inputs there's four SO239 there's two SO239s and two N connectors the N connectors are for VHF UHF and the 239s are for um, HF but I can hook up my HF radio and my 2 meter 440 DMR stuff and then when I'm on HF all I gotta do is flip over to sensor 1 when I'm on my 2 meter 440 stuff, I just flip back over to sensor 2. Just like that. So, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And, um, 7.3s for now. When I got this thing on peak, peak it slowly goes down. <laughs> Alright, 7.3s, guys and have a great day hope you enjoyed the video i'm starting to run out of ideas so if you have any ideas of a great video that you want to see or you've got a problem and you say oh, i can't figure out how to do this or i can't figure out how to do that then um, send me a message and i'll make a video if it's a dmr or you know some other stuff just let me know if i have it here i'll make a video I had a guy write me, and he's having some problems with um, firmware updates, getting them to load up on his 9600. So the next video I make might be um, a video on the 9600 on how to do uh, firmware updates. So that's it for today, guys. That's all I've got. But uh, you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. It uh, might give you a little bit of insight, a little bit of information, and so forth, and all that good stuff. Here's my FTVX 1200, which I'm thinking about selling, actually. A friend of mine's got a, um, an ICOM 7300, and he loves it. I've been thinking about getting one, too. This camera just doesn't make this screen look good at all. All of this down here is color, and it makes it look blue and a bright white. But anyway, 73s for now, and I hope you guys have a great evening. Don't forget to subscribe. I need um, some more subscribers. I've got a lot of views and hardly no subscribers. It only takes a second of your time, and it lets me know you like the videos and all that good stuff. 73s, guys, from the shack.